So you're looking on the left is a pair of $300 StopTech rotors for a set of all four rotors. On the right, you're looking at a set of Brake Motive eBay rotors for a set of four for 150 bucks. And I'm gonna give you my feedback after five years of using the Brake Motive rotors on the right uh, from eBay. I actually took them to the track once I'm not saying these rotors were made for the track because they're not made for it there at all. They actually got very hot at the track and I could feel them start to warp. But they lasted for five years and I want to go over the differences between a $300 pair and a $150 pair of rotors from eBay. So let's begin. First things first, if you look at these rotors, the holes actually line up on the StopTech rotors with the brake pad. If you look here, the brake pad doesn't even line up with the hole. But these brake pad, brake rotors, uh, it doesn't really matter. Brake rotors aren't going to help your stopping ability. Uh, your pads or calipers will. So um, I was still satisfied with this rotor. Um, now what I want to do is go ahead and weigh them and see what the difference is in weight. So let's go ahead and let's take uh, this is a grab a quarter. Go over here to the little scale I got set up uh, with the old rotor and the new rotor. Let's go ahead and stand on it real quick so I can activate it. All right, let's go ahead and place the uh, stop tech rotor on. Let's see what it weighs. We're looking at 21.4 pounds for the stop tech rotor. Let's place on this eBay rotor, which has been turned once, which just makes it fair. I gotta activate the scale. been turned once but 21.4 pounds they weigh the exact same so this is the eBay rotor and this is a stop tech rotor which costs twice as much as the eBay rotor and they weigh the exact same interesting all right let's, let's uh, weigh the rear rotors and see what they weigh and remember this one off eBay has been laid one time so let's step on the scale activate it let's weigh it 12.8 pounds for the eBay rotor by Brake Motive. And then let's try the stop tech. 12.8. Give it a little activation. Looks like stop tech on the rear. 12.8. Well, isn't that just spectacular? I didn't actually weigh these before filming it. I was filming it as I'm going. I figured there would be a weight difference. I'm feeling like I wasted my money. Um, I could have got new rotors for half the price. So I paid $300 when I could have paid $150, but I am starting to see some positivity here. On the eBay rotors, there's only 24 holes, versus on the StopTech, there's 35. And if you look real closely, the holes are actually tapered. See how they're tapered like this as they go in? Versus the eBay rotor, if you look at it, let's see if I can zoom in, the holes aren't tapered. And you can see, you can see the stress cracks from this rotor, look at that. Hit focus. Let me get a light real quick and let's take a look at this. See if we get a different angle here, if we can get a better look at the cracks in this rotor I'm talking about. You see those cracks? And this rotor's never ever seen a uh, winner before. A a am I saying I feel unsafe with these cracks? No, no I'm not. But this rotor is five years old. Uh, it did its job. So, looks like it's uh, time to replace. Would I recommend using Brake Motive eBay rotors again? Yes, yes I would. They went through five years of hard abuse. Feel free to go pick yourself up a set off of eBay. I know these stress cracks worry people and they freak out, but the rotor's not gonna explode. It'll still be perfectly fine. And if it does explode, you will get a huge payout settlement that'll make the rest of your life, you'll never have to work again. 
So go ahead, feel free to pick yourself up a set, and that'll do it in today's video. See you guys on the next one.